there a click. Ooh, look oh at my gosh, the screen. Hey guys, let's go ahead and have some more fun with the USB killer. Today I've got some awesome new products to go ahead and test this out. The Nintendo Switch, NES Classic, even the PS4 Slim, which I didn't test in my last video. And one more, one really, really crazy one because I have someone that doesn't want this car anymore and he's like, hey, you can have it. Go ahead and plug this thing into it. Not really, I have to pay for it. But uh, anyways, this guy has claimed so many lives on my channel, the PS4, the Xbox, and a lot more. Let's see if uh, any of these new products are resistant to it. So over here, I've got a 2016 Nissan GTR. <laughs> And this is the David VTV. I actually knew this guy since I was little. He actually turned out to be a YouTuber. I found him in the same city and I'll leave his link down below if you guys want to check him out. But he has a sick ride. I love this thing. Fortunately, today just has to go. We're going to see what the USB killer does to it. Literally one of my biggest requests to test this on a car and that's what we're going to do today. All right, man. By the way, if I break it, I do owe him the money. We kind of mutually agreed on that. All right, man, let's do it and then uh, test out some Nintendo products. My personal prediction is nothing too bad. So I think that it'll just burn the infotainment, maybe the sound, uh, maybe the units of navigation unit. I don't think it'll really go past that. And if we're lucky, it might just be a fuse, not actually burn anything inside uh, the electronics. Uh, but I've always been curious. This is a very expensive experiment. Where's your USB port, man? Well, actually, uh, right here. It's a nice interior, man. Good color choice. No, I honestly don't think anything too bad will happen, but it's my ass that's on the line if it does. All right, first thing I just wanted to show is that if we plug it in, that it connects, starts charging, and audio should be working here. All right, we're good. So, stage two is to test with the tester unit. This is basically... Uh, a little tester so before the shock enters the system it kind of allows you to discharge it here and you see some sparks which is kind of cool by the way what happens if you stick a normal usb in there is it going to read the songs yeah well when you put it in your phone it just plays a regular song whatever you're trying to play or i think i think it's all audio through the phone so. oh okay let's go ahead and plug it in so get in here tester shield unit going in all right so we can get a very strong spark damn that's actually a good sign that something is going to fry. All right. I'm scared. Are you ready, man? Yeah. This guy. I'm scared, but... Hold him back it. if he lunges at me. Here we go. USB killer oh versus gosh. 2016 Nissan GTR. I'm going to turn the music up just so we can hear. Click AM, FM. Uh, so okay. it plays radio. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh, I hear a click. Ooh, look at oh this. My gosh, Shoot. The it resets. Reset. Oh my Holy god. Holy crap. It's not playing music anymore. Okay. We're fine, but the clicking stopped over here. Let's oh, see if uh, the iPhone still turns on. Damn. It's not charging anymore. I think we fried your USB port, man. Wait, did you unplug it and plug it back in? Yeah. Wow. <sighs> nothing that's kind of crazy it started tweaking out over here the like the actual started, navi yeah. damn Fudge. okay i'm gonna try the test unit see if we can get any sort of power out of it still but i think i just fried your port or a, a fuse we're gonna go ahead and check the fuses here yeah oh oh it's working it's still working why wouldn't the iphone work try restarting the car turn off the ignition oh okay i'll try that dude it's not working <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Shit myself. Okay, the car started. Oh. The valves are closed. Oh, okay. No, you don't need to open it. Okay. It's not charging, though. Yeah. Shoot, dude, I'm sorry. It's fine. I mean, how much can a USB port possibly cost? What's interesting, though, is that this still gets power. I'm going to plug it in one more time. All right, and again. It does start clicking, but nothing's going on this time. So we're gonna check the fuse box, but the consensus seems to be that we just fried this port alone. So these guys actually thought of this kind of thing. Yeah. Most uh, electronics don't have a defense against it. So that's kind of cool. The more you know, you're a Nissan GTR safe against these things. 
All right, let's go check the box. Right. That's a relief, shit, dude. So it turns out there's a maze uh, just to reach the fuse box in here. I make it so complicated. On my Audi, you just pop a panel off and they're all there. But it turns out the USB killer does affect the Nissan GTR, but nowhere near as bad as any of the other electronics I've tested. So let's move on to the Nintendos and other things. That's NES Classic. I've got the PS4 Slim over here. Maybe it's more resistant versus the PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro didn't do too well actually, but it did better than the Xbox One. And here it is. So I couldn't even get one on the date when they were uh, up for pre-order. I had to pay $450 for this, which sucks, but here it is. The Nintendo Switch, the coveted Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Hoo -hoo. That's a lot smaller than I thought. Cool. Uh, does this thing even have a USB port? And... Ooh, it does have USB-C. Perfect. Ooh, this is going to be nice. But there it is. A lot more bezel than I'd like. But we're going to power it on and see how it looks. It's very sleek. I like that. Slide these on. Cool. All right, that's the new switch. What else do we get? Dock. Oh, that's like a gamepad. And the official dock over here. This doesn't... Oh, it does. So these have USB ports too. So I just plugged it in and it's powering on. Ooh, that's got some good speakers. All right, so I'm gonna set it up first, but that's kind of cool. It's very responsive. So this is a power meter for USB-C. First thing I wanted to do is see what kind of a current this thing is taking in. All right, so 1.11 amps, 14.7 volts, about one amp there. Five volts, mm, nothing but it does give a very strong spark. Wow. All right, let's do this. Beautiful new Nintendo Switch, actually much cooler looking than I thought versus USB killer. Is it a match? Got our USB-C adapter and here we go. In three, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what we should do first? We should plug it into the dock or no, 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 screw it. All right, in three, two, one. Oh, I think that's it. I heard the pop. How do you turn this thing on? Okay, power button. Wow, that's it. That was fast. Power and nothing, no sign of life. What about the individual controllers? So they're still alive. They're just searching for the switch. That's it, wow. All right, so the switch is dead. Let's see if a little bit of a more ancient device over here, the NES Classic, can withstand this. Very tiny, I never owned one of these, but I did have an Atari 2600 as a kid, so there's really no nostalgia factor for me. But there is a DC in, ooh, how's that gonna work? So, I don't even think that's gonna work. There's literally no way to plug this in. This kind of goes in there, but I don't think it'll do anything. Huh, so I didn't really think this one through. <laughs> There's no way to actually plug it into this one. All right, moving on to the PS4 Slim. And the Slim. The Pro didn't do well. Let's see how this one does. Not as slim as the PS2 Slim was though, that's for sure. Looks like we have a, no, that's not a USB auxiliary. So the PS4 Pro had a USB in the back. This just has two in the front. Let's go ahead and power it on. Nice sandwich design. So as usual, test what kind of uh, power output we can get here. But as you can see, it is working, powering on. Yeah, good amount. Very strong. Not even gonna bother setting that up. Let's see how resistant it is. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. What? That is something I've never seen before. Usually when you plug it in, it's just out, done. That's kind of interesting. So, uh, crazy glitch effect here. Did it kill the PS4 or not? Okay, I'm gonna pull the plug. Damn, that was kind of crazy. 
Um, nope, no power. Huh. It didn't even make a crackle or a pop, or I didn't hear it at least. So that's it. Alrighty then. <laughs> Guys, that's your daily dose or monthly dose of the USB killer. Did not survive the Nintendo Switch or the PS4 Slim, unfortunately. Nissan GTR survived and the NES Classic survived due to not even being compatible with this test. <laughs> so uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of the other USB killer tests, really crazy stuff. And David's channel is down below. The guy's crazy. I would have never let someone borrow my GTR to plug this in there. What am I, crazy? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.